The flight to Egypt. Blessed is Egypt, my people. The whole journey from the initial flight from Bethlehem to the return to Nazareth lasted over three and a half years. It covered approximately 2,000 kilometers or 1250 miles. On the 24th of the Coptic month of Bashans, which corresponds to the 1st of June, the Coptic Church celebrates the entry of the Lord Jesus into the land of Egypt. There are 26 locations throughout the country where it is believed that the Holy Family passed through or sought refuge in during their three and a half years in hiding. They were eventually able to safely return to Palestine after the death of King Herod. The first main city that the Holy Family stopped in after arriving in Egypt from Bethlehem was Pharma or ancient Pelusium on the easternmost mouth of the Nile River. After visiting Pharma, they ventured to Mostorid, which is the northern part of Cairo. There are remains of a church and a cave being restored, which are reputed to have been where the Holy Family stayed during their time there. Tal Basta, a small town near Mostorid in Zakazik state. Our Lord Jesus blessed the land, causing a water spring to well up from the ground. Then the Holy Family traveled to Mustorid, Miniat Serd, or currently called Meat Serd, and stayed there for a few weeks. The next main stop was Bilbase, where they sat under the shades of a sycamore tree, which later became known as the Virgin Mary's Tree. The Holy Family crossed the Nile to the city of Samanud in El Garbeya State, then the city Sakha near Kafr sheikh State, also known as Pecha Isos, the foot of Jesus. The name is literally inspired by a rock with a relief of baby Jesus' foot on it, which has been preserved and kept in Sakha over the years. Wadi al Natrun was the next key stop. There are four ancient monasteries. There used to be originally more than 50 in this area. The next main stopping point is closer to Cairo, in the neighboring districts of Ain Shams and Mataria. The famed sycamore, known as Virgin Mary's Tree, is located. Next on the list is Old Cairo formerly known as Babylon, where the Holy Family took refuge in a cave after inciting the wrath of the governor of Babylon. The church of Abu Sirga was built on top of the site some time later and is a major pilgrimage site for many Egyptians. Upon fleeing Babylon, the Holy Family then ventured to Maadi, which was another major point along their path. They boarded a sailboat that took them upriver to southern Egypt. The Virgin Mary Church now occupies the docking point in Maadi, where they were said to have departed from, the very same steps that the Holy Family used to reach the water are still present on the grounds. A notable event happened in March of 1976 when a holy Bible of unknown origin was washed up to the banks of the Nile directly below the Virgin Mary Church. It was opened to the page of Isaiah 19.25 declaring, Blessed be Egypt, my people. The Bible is now on display in the church. The Holy Family then traveled to Old City of Manf, or currently known as Meet Rahina, belonging to El Giza Estate. The sailboat docked at the village of Ashnin al Nasara, a small village near the town of Magara, then the village of Deir el Garnus, the later site of the monastery of El Garnus, 10 kilometers west of Ashnin al Nasara. Outside the western wall of the Church of the Virgin, a deep well is believed to have provided the Holy Family with the water they needed. 
they went on from there to a spot later named Abai Esos, meaning the house of Jesus, the site of present-day Sandafa village east of El Bahnasa. Towards the south, they went to Samalut and crossed the Nile again to East Bank, where the monastery of the Virgin Mary now stands upon Gabalatir, meaning in Arabic, the bird mountain. The mountain is known by that name because thousands of birds gather there. The Holy Family rested in a cave which is now located inside the church proper. Coptic tradition maintains that the Holy Family rested in the shade of the mountain. Our Lord stretched his little hand to hold back a rock which was about to detach itself from the mountainside and fall upon them. The imprint of his palm is still visible. Therefore, this mountain is also known as Gabal al meaning the Palm Mountain. When they resumed their travels, the Holy Family passed a laurel tree south of Gabal al It's claimed that this tree bowed to worship the Lord Christ while he was passing. The configuration of the tree is indeed unique because all its branches incline downwards, trailing on the ground, then turn upwards again, covered in a cloak of green leaves. The tree is named Al-Abd, meaning the worshipper. The Holy Family traveled south to reach El Sheikh Abada, where the infant Jesus caused the spring to flow. Thereafter, they crossed the Nile and made their way south, reaching Malawi, where Deir al-Malak, the monastery of the angel, is. They crossed the Nile to the east bank and rested at Qom Maria, where today is located Deir Abu Hennis, the monastery of St. Yohannes. They continued until reaching Tal al-Amarna. The Holy Family continued heading south, reaching Dairut in Asyut. Their next main point, and the one where the family supposedly resided for over six months, is Gabal Qisqam. Here, visitors can still visit El Muharraq Monastery, which is where the Holy Family stayed for the six month. Following the death of King Herod, an angel appeared to the Holy Family and told them it would be safe for them to return home. They did make one final stop in Asyut, visiting the Mount of Doronka, which is now currently hosting the monastery after its name. Then they retraced back their steps, going back to Palestine and going to Nazareth. There is no other country in the whole world that hosted the Holy Family like Egypt. It seems that our Lord intentionally visited every city and made a dwelling in every region in a three-year journey. It's not strange that the Orthodox Christianity in Egypt is now the pillar of faith for the whole world. The Egyptians offered monasticism as a gift to the world, giving to every monk or nun, Saint Anthony the Great, as their spiritual abbot or father. The Church of Egypt also offered and is still offering thousands of Coptic martyrs who supersedes in their numbers all the martyrs of the whole world put together. Our Lord blessed Egypt and continues to bless her for the centuries to come, so she may continue being the true apostolic church and the lighthouse for the whole world.